Welcome back, Alphas. Von Clutch here. 3.2 is live, and with it, new features. Like scanning for minerals, mining, new item kiosks, new items you can buy, new ships you can fly, there's an all-new party system, there's quantum linking. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to play yet. I do work a lot. So I've got the patch downloaded. Yet there's a few more things that I still need to do. So if you're like me and you use HCS voice packs, you probably got an email like that saying that it is time to update. So today we're going to walk through how to get our game, our HCS voice packs, and our key bindings ready to play 3.2. Now if you're thinking voice packs for Star Citizen HCS, what? Well then watch this video to the two minute 15 second mark and then turn around come back because I'm gonna post a link right here up at the top of the screen that will take you straight to the beginning of the playlist so you can learn how to set everything up how much it's gonna cost all that jazz that'll get you on track to get ready for 3.2 and you'll be able to talk to your computer and your ship will execute commands through your voice so like I said, whether or not you have HCS voice packs or not, this first step is for anyone who is updating from a previous patch. We need to back up and delete our user profile. So we're going to navigate to our Star Citizen folder, and then we're going to look for Live, User, then go to Profiles, and you're going to cut the default then you're going to go back a folder. I go back to user and create a folder. I called mine old profile backup and I paste it in there. Basically, we're just trying to create a backup of our profiles because each patch you need to delete your user profile so that the game creates a new one for that patch. But it's nice to have a backup. And you have to reset up your control profiles, but we'll talk about that later. So go ahead and open voice attack as administrator. Now we're going to back up our profiles on voice attack. So you're going to go ahead and look here for the symbol, click export. It's going to bring up all of your commands. From there, export and you're going to name it. So I made sure and just, you know, find a place to put it and then name it something like the month. Close that. Then uh, go back to the email that you got from HCS saying it's time to update. You're going to go ahead and follow the download instructions on that, which you'll need your registration key again. If you don't know it, which who has that memorized for real, you can go search your inbox in your email for HCS and then look for the email that you originally received that's titled order and then it has a number after it that has your registration key in it you'll need that because as you download this and install it it's going to ask for it so once you have the updated version downloaded do not install it yet instead go to your control panel and you're gonna go to uninstall programs you're gonna look for the HCS voice pack there's two of them you're going to uninstall both super simple right click uninstall see ya we got to get rid of those before we put the new version on so that CD key that we copied from our email earlier is going to come in handy after you uninstall these once they're both uninstalled then we can begin the install process go to the files that you downloaded right click the install plugins.exe file and run as administrator install that real quick just make sure you're installing it to the same place that you installed voice attack. Default location is best for both programs. Then you're going to install the install.execute file. Remember to right click it and run as administrator. So run through that install process, super simple. Then you'll get a teaser at some point of your character and you'll know you're almost there. You kneel before me. Only then will I transfer power to the engines. 
Finish off the install by entering your registration key and agreeing to the terms. Go ahead and skip ahead a little and make sure that it is installed to the same place as the last patch and your voice attack program. And then go ahead and finish that. Once it's complete, we're going to go ahead and right click voice attack to run as administrator. There we go. And the next thing we're going to do is click the wrench. We got to make sure that enable plugins is checked. If it's not, go ahead and check that. Then you hit OK. Then you have to close voice attack and then reopen it as administrator. Yep. All right. Then we go import the profile we just downloaded. So go ahead and click on this icon. Go ahead and click import profile and then we're going to navigate to it. If it doesn't take you there automatically, it's under voice attack, sounds, HCS pack, profiles, star citizen, and you're going to click on the VAP file and you're just going to say, are you sure this thing can take control of your computer if you use words? So click yes. Okay. Cool. Now we should be good. Just in case, we're going to close voice attack and reopen it as administrator. Make sure that is open and running before you open the Star Citizen game. Once that looks like it's running, then we go ahead and run as administrator on the Star Citizen launcher. And then we're going to launch game. And then I'm going to skip ahead like... I want to cut out 91 seconds of load time because it was a 97 second load time on a Samsung SSD. Maybe I need to upgrade my processor. I don't know. It's an i5. We need to tell the game to use the exact same key bindings that voice attack uses. So go ahead and go to options. Then you're going to go over to key bindings. And you're going to go to advanced down at the bottom and then look for control profiles. Scroll all the way down. Keyboard advanced. Go ahead and click that because more than likely that is the setup you're using is a keyboard and mouse. So go ahead and select these on the screen like I'm doing. Select that. And you can double check it. Hey, look, now it's bound everything for us. Those were all blank a second ago because we deleted our user profile to reset it fresh and new for this patch. So it looks like everything's there. Close out of that, and now we're ready to play. And I tested my voice pack. Who am I flying with today? Greetings. Who are you? Oh, chit chat is disabled. It looks like we need to turn on interaction mode, but how would we even know how to do that? One of my subscribers asked if I could put together a video on how to export all of the commands, which I'm working on. I'll get that out to you guys so you can expect that. HCS voice pack folks actually provided us with most of the commands, not all of them, but there's quite a few. So if you go check your extracted zip folder, you're going to see the star citizen manual start here. They have also provided a printable version. And hey, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Check out some of the parodies, let's plays, and other videos that I put out. And maybe I'll see you in the verse.